I prepared a couple of stuff for this video, but I will also update you about Historocratus Giga's babies. And that is actually going to be the first thing that we will do. As you know, they are all being kept in this enclosure and I'm keeping them all together. There's only one currently outside, but if you look closely, you see a lot of molds. They actually molted once already inside of this enclosure and they are all under this cork bark and also around in the substrate. Another booty and it's gone. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we have... No, come on. But if you check it like this... Yeah, you see a lot of movement inside. I'm just hoping that they actually won't eat each other, but we are going to figure that out once we get them all out of this enclosure, but until then we can just guess. But I have no... Oh, now they are coming out. Yeah, there they are. Look at them. They have a lot of holes all around the perimeter, you see. Let me get a close shot before they leave, but you see they are... <laughs> quite fast now and they have a lot of holes going under the cork bark and I assume around the substrate but I'm not really sure are there any tunnels on the bottom? no nope. I'm not really sure how deep those tunnels are but they surely go down because I often can see some movement inside anyhow now I want to drop a couple of uh, pre-killed roaches and then we will see how they are feasting on them and I'm gonna grab a couple of I will do like I will put like two or three I yeah, just squish their head and bump them around so they don't move too much. And then also you don't want to kill them too much, I mean crush them too much, because then they won't move at all and I think that tarantulas won't be interested. So I just drop them around. Oops. Let's move this one here. Now we will leave it like that and we will check them in like 10 minutes maybe. Just gonna put it here to keep an eye on what is happening. Now for what is the main thing of this video, the main agenda. In these enclosures we have three scorpions, scorpions that actually molted. I think all of them molted and now are kind of bigger, so we are going to move them inside of these enclosures and then once we uh, empty two of these enclosures. We are going to move two of the Formicoptus species Dominican purple slings. We are going to move them because you see in this enclosure we have some mold so instead of just replacing the substrate I'm going to move the sling into new enclosure because they will surely enjoy more space with a, a cork bark height. First scorpions and first one is most likely the biggest of them all it is Lairus hengi. All three of them are being kept the same they just need sand substrate some hide and a lot of heat because as you know I had six of them for more than a year without any molting or anything and the reason for that was there was not enough heat for them because you know they live in desert so it's kind of logical that they need higher temperature in order to grow normally. So there it is, you see it's looking sweet now, right? Black body with those orange or yellowish legs and pincers. Gonna remove this cork bark. He no longer needs that one because he's getting new and bigger. And why is your stinger in the sand? What is up with that? There we go. <laughs> the enclosure setup will be the same, so just sand with cork bark hide and I have hides ready here they are slightly bigger than their old one because they are growing they are bigger and they need more space i have said right here and i also want to put some small rocks inside actually there are the rocks i have nice stash of flat rocks that are really cool you see these one they will contrast nicely with with this sand also the cork bark i will first put that then i will know how much space i have for the actual rock so yeah something like that cover it up and <laughs> Uh, not sure about it. Also, I can take these smaller rocks and incorporate them like... Yeah! Now we are talking a bit more here in front. Funny thing is, you know how I use sand for additional texture in, in enclosures. Now we are actually using rocks for additional texture in sandy enclosure. Now to move the scorpion. And you know, unlike tarantulas, this is really, really easy thing to do with scorpions because they cannot climb glass or plastic, so it is really easy and really safe, despite the fact that they have really, really, really strong venom. And now we have opportunity for some nice, sweet close-up shots. Mm -mm -mm. I definitely like where this is going. Sweet! What will you do with all this free space now, little buddy, huh? You can live like a king. A scorpion king. Sweet! Now, on to the next one. Where 
is the lid. But even though they cannot climb plastics, just as a precaution I drilled uh, smaller holes so they cannot get outside. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Now next, Scorpion. It is the Androctonus Crassicauda. And it is a sweet black one. You're going to love this one because I surely do. And this one is a bit smaller, you see. But regardless, we don't judge. No, no, no. Should they even rehouse him? I thought that he's a bit bigger, but he did molt once since I got him. But yeah, it is not as small as I thought. Uh, I will actually leave him inside for now. I only need two of these enclosure free for these slings. I don't need three, so. Yeah, we are going to do that, but I'm gonna drop some rocks inside for some nice texture. Mm -hmm. And move it around a bit. And I want to give him a bit more sand. Although this is kind of different sand than from the one that he got inside. This will be an interesting combination. I will put it just on a place where cork bark is going. And he's kind of freaking out, not enjoying this. Giving him back his height. Sorry for this slight disturbance, but your enclosure is now slightly upgraded. Yeah, you don't have more space, but it surely looks a bit prettier. Now the last scorpion. And that is going to be one pretty Parabutus Slechteri. Yip, yip, yip. Also hiding under this cord bark. And yeah, this one is slightly bigger than previous one, you see. Not as big as first one, the Laerus Hengi, but definitely bigger than the second one. And ooh, don't try to escape like that. Technically, if she... Nah, even then I don't think that she could reach it, but I am not a fan of those attempts. So the same thing, I'm going to grab some sand. Need more than this. And also a cork buck. Gonna shove that somewhere there. And now we have space for some random rocks. We'll stick one here and another one here. Or maybe we can stack them up like... Hmm, so many possibilities. There, and to finish it off with tiny rocks, just for texture and fun. There we go, enclosure number two is ready for the, for the scorpion. Also, when you are rehousing a scorpion, if you are gentle and fast enough, you can just grab them by their tail. That is definitely the easiest way. Oh no, it bolted straight. Oh, never mind, it is out. It went under the cork bark, but it got out. When it is super pissed about the fact that I pulled it using his stinger. <laughs> you see how it got it raised and ready to sting something. <laughs> but there will be no stinging action for you today. I'm sorry. Maybe tomorrow when I drop you some roach. Sweet, I'm really enjoying this whole setup with these rocks. They are such a good combination. And I recently found those, so this was a real nice timing. <laughs> yeah. Now we are done with the scorpions. And I see that Histerocrates Gigas babies are going to town with those roaches. So let me just remove all of this and carefully bring the babies. I don't want to spook them. Check it out. There are three on this roach. This one is still alive. This one baby got one piece and also there are two over there. Is this a roach head? Yeah, it definitely is. There is also one baby here with a piece and I have no idea where the fourth roach is. So I'm guessing that it is somewhere under the cork bark. Are you going to grab that roach or no? You. Oh. Oh. So tiny and yet so brave. Yeah, just get it. There we go. Oh my. I didn't expect that it will manage to pull the roach like that. So easily. Nice. I like where this is going. And now we can rehouse those two slings. But first I need to drop the sand out of these enclosures. Oh, and I also need to show you the the war that is going on in the dark den currently i have huge problem with gnats those tiny flies that kind of seems like fruit flies but they are actually aren't fruit flies you can easily distinguish their movement and check it out i think i finally found the solution how to get rid of them look at these 
these are all the nuts that were inside of the dark den that dried here over the last three days and I also have another one inside of the roach enclosure I mean that roach box because they were multiplying like crazy now I cleaned everything but there is still a ton a ton of them and I couldn't get rid of them but now I found this mixture on the internet it's actually really simple it is just water mixed with apple vinegar a little bit of sugar and a couple of drops of detergent i mean dish soap uh, the mixture attracts the gnats and the dish soap uh, makes this everything inside really sticky so once they touch the water they cannot get out and they just drown and that is perfect death that i want for them <laughs> I hate them so much and I'm super happy that this actually works and that there is a chance that I will get rid of them all. Now I need some substrate, so just a second. Ta-da! And they are ready for new inhabitants. And also, Felix is on the move, going somewhere down. Felix, where are you going? I can hear you moving across the leaves. You are making some noise, you know? I don't think that he likes the fact that he was spotted like this. Yeah, you can continue your awesome journey to wherever down there. Just like we are going to continue with this, this three house. First I'm going to take the one that got some mold inside of its enclosure. This little father now also, I don't think that they are super bolty, but after that Ternopelma Sazimai, that crazy performance of her in last three house video, uh, I should be ready for anything, right? Only one way to find out. Yeah, this is all right. There we go. <laughs> yeah, 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 move your booty. Everybody here likes that. Yeah. <laughs> Immediate dance. Almost like a happy dance because of the new enclosure. I know that that is not what it is, but still I, I would like to think that. Do I like it? Yeah, it is now bigger, right? No mold, more space. You can dig under that cork bark, you know. Pretty nice and <laughs> check the webbing that it is leaving. The trail of web. Nice. Gonna close her off and rehouse the other one. And it seems that Felix's journey to the bottom of the enclosure is cancelled or over because he is heading back up. <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> and you can see him behind, right? It is a bit blurry but <laughs> you can see the movement. The battery on this camera is getting low so let's get this over with. Less tarantula, less rehouse of the video, and she's right there. Just need a stick to move her out. You got a nice hole down there, unlike the other one, but still, you're going to get something even better. Come on. There we go. Oh, from this angle, she looks almost black. And we have kinda... Ah, she's not that fast. Oh, she can actually bolt. Bolty, 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 bolty. <laughs> no. There's your enclosure. There. <laughs> Sweet. No. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Go in and stay there, please. I think that she doesn't like it that much. Come on, enjoy it. That is an order. No. Go back. Yeah, there's your hide behind, so you can go and hide in your hide. You know that? That's why the hide is for. But okay, I think that we are done here. Just close it. There. Don't want to chase her anymore. Anyhow, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It feels a bit short, but yeah, I did everything that I planned. Maybe I should have planned more stuff. Yeah, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye. -bye.